So Trick or Treat is coming to HHN 2018. Pretty excited about this one. So let's get this video started. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? How are you guys doing today? I'm the Knights of Horror, back at you with a new video. This time it's an HHN update video. I got all the tweets here, of course, like always, they will be on the screen, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. And uh, I'm gonna read you the tweets and then after I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the maze in general. Uh, During the spookiest time of the year, there are a few guidelines all ghosts and goblins should follow. Always stay on sidewalks, never go to a stranger's house, and never go out alone. On a Halloween night, there's a certain rules that you have to abide by if you want to survive till morning. Always wear a costume, never blow a jack-o'-lantern before midnight, and don't forget to check your candy. For those foolish enough to disregard the rules of this ancient pagan holiday, there is Sam, the spirit of Halloween who is ready to punish all rule breakers. Every year, Sam visits one town on Halloween night to make sure the sacred traditions of the season are being observed and his rules upheld. This year, he's choosing to visit Warren Valley, Ohio, a sleepy suburban community that masks a number of dark secrets. The principal who leads a secret life as a serial killer. The college girls who turn into bloodthirsty animals when the moon is full. The bitter old man who has to hide the reason why he hates Halloween. And the parents who try to dispose of their troubled children at the bottom of an old rock quarry. Welcome to Trick or Treat, the anthology horror film from writer-director Michael Doherty that has become a modern horror cult classic. On Halloween night, you either live by the rules or you die by them. And then John Murdy goes on to do some uh, tweets afterwards. Uh, some things that he usually does uh, when uh, following up by the actual storyline of what the maze is about. And I'll read those to you. Starting with, 10 years ago I met writer-director Michael Doherty. And we discussed bringing his film Trick or Treat to Halloween Horror Nights. It took a decade and we collaborated on Krampus in between, but we're finally doing it. In the past, I have always said I was holding out for the sequel, but the fans of HH10 never stopped requesting it, so I figured it was time to give the fans of Trick or Treat the maze they've been asking for. I'm a big fan of Michael's film, and if you haven't seen it, you have to check it out. It is a great anthology horror film that very smartly weaves several uh, in connecting stories together. I'm very excited to finally make it a maze. This maze is going to be in the same location as last year's The Shining on the lower level of the theme park. It's the first maze we're beginning construction on. As for the clues, Terror in the Isles came out in 1984. I gave the hint of the code name of the maze Olympics. Had to do with something that happened in 1984 Olympics in LA. Sam the Eagle was the mascot for these Olympics. Uh, Sam is the main character in Trick or Treat. Hashtag Carney. So, that is all the tweets John Murdy put out following the announcement of Trick or Treat. Um, I really like how he explained uh, the story of the movie. If you guys have not seen Trick or Treat, I highly suggest it. It's a very good cult classic. Um, if you did like Krampus, you will like Trick or Treat. Um, at least I did because uh, I saw uh, Trick or Treat first and then when Krampus came out, I waited till it came out on demand and on DVD and I watched Krampus and I fell in love with it. On top of that, it was for last year's event, so uh, or no, like two years ago's event. So I, we, you know, me and my cousin, we have this tradition every year where we watch everything uh, maze related uh, like a week or two before Horror Nights and we get ourselves prepared, get ourselves pumped up and stuff we want to see in the maze, stuff we don't want to see in the maze. We'll do it. Maybe this year we'll make a video of what we want to see in each maze and stuff like that. So, um, Trick or Treat, there's a lot of stuff I want to see in this maze. Uh, there's a bunch of different stories from the werewolves to, uh, to uh, the kids taking, uh, the kids going down to the quarry and then pranking that other girl. And then you find out there's actually 
the ghost of those kids that come back and kill those other kids. Um, in the beginning opening sequence, there's a scene where like the mom blows out the jack-o'-lantern and uh, Sam kills her and ends up becoming one of the scarecrows. Uh, the ending scene with the old man, that's a good fight. Um, I want to see obviously the serial killer uh, principal. I, I want to know if they're going to put him in chronological order or if they're just going to kind of put him out there. Uh, either way, there's a picture I found earlier today on social media and the picture is by uh, California Informer. Uh, at follow him at Kelly Informer, and he said your first look at HHN uh, construction for the season, and the picture is on the screen. As you can see, it is at the Mummy queue line where the Shining was. That's exactly where Trick or Treat's going to be going. Uh, they just put up uh, what looks like just the the um, the metal for the tent. They haven't really started anything else uh, as of this picture. They could have already actually put up the tent itself and maybe start bringing wood over there and stuff. But uh, they are starting to construct everything. Um, this being the first one, Trick or Treat, so I'm very excited for this maze. Like I said, go check out the movie, it's really good. Um, I don't know, man, it's just, it's gonna be so far looking like a good year. Uh, we got Stranger Things announced, uh, I think a month or two ago. Uh, so we're doing season one of Stranger Things, that should be pretty good. Uh, now we got Trick or Treat, and we got a Scare Zone announced, uh, Holidays from Hell. Lineup so far is looking pretty good. Um, I'm, I'm very excited so far for this year. This should hopefully be a good year. On top of that, uh, I'm going to be collaborating with some YouTubers at the event, so that should be an awesome time. So, thanks guys for checking out my video and my thoughts on Trick or Treat. I know a bunch of other YouTubers uh, beat me to it, but they put out fantastic videos. Check out the League's video. Thomas hosted the whole show. He talks about uh, some tweets, but he did it early on. Uh, same thing with Awkward Arsic. They He did his opinion, and then I heard Zombie Chris's opinion because they're getting it over there in Florida. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to stay tuned for more HHN updates. Bye.